So John was diagnosed with leukemia a little less than a year ago. And exactly one week ago today, I went to meet him at the UCSF Medical Center. And there's a little bit of it. So I just finished uh, meeting with John. And he's a nice kid. He's only 21. And man, he's going through some tough times right now. But it seems like uh, he's getting better. He's doing well, they're saying. And he says uh, he's never caught a fish before. And that's one of his, it's on his bucket list to go catch a fish. So I was like, all right, man, we got to check that off your bucket list. I'm going to take you fishing. And we're going to go catch a fish, man. If it's feeling good, then we're going to get out there. And he's going to catch his first fish. I'm going to put him on for sure. They watch my channel all the time, they said. Uh, him and his sister. His sister, Susie, is 10 years older. Uh, and she used to go... Nice! She got one! <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. My first ever fish on the beach. Little bar surf perch. Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. I'm Taku. Today, I'm with John and Susie. Uh, Susie is John's older sister. John has never caught a fish before. And that's on his bucket list. So today, I'm going to get them on a fish. We're fishing for surf perch. We're also doing a little crabbing uh, for some maybe Dungeness crab, rock crab. And uh, hopefully we can get them on something. Then we're also going to cook it up after that and make something delicious for him too. All right, let's get it done. You guys ready? Yeah. Ready. Yes. Yes, let's do it. This one is uh, it's called a fish finder rig. This is called a slider. And then it just slides around. And I have about a three foot leader little tiny hook with a uh, Berkeley gulp sandworm. On the other one, the one you have, so this is known as a double drop shot or a high-low rig. So they call it high-low because it, you have you have one high, you have one low. All right, so you just cast it out there and it kind of stays on the bottom and searches for the fish kind of on the bottom and kind of at the medium level, a little bit higher. And this one kind of just stays in one spot, whereas the fish finder rig, you cast it out there, it's able to kind of drift with the current, search for the fish more because you're, you're going back and forth um, just as the waves go and as the fish go. And so that's why, I think that's why they call it a fish finder. You see how there's the waves right now? Yeah. But it's, it's flat right there. Yes. Yeah, so it's deeper there. So that's where we kind of want to look at, that little bit of deeper spot. But yeah, we'll cast out there, see what happens. You know, you, you get the line, hold that there, and then go. Put it, pull it over. The bites always feel like little taps. Oh, little tap, okay. tap, tap, yeah. like tap, tap, tap. Uh, whereas the current, it's mostly like, oh, here's a go, here's a bite. Uh -oh. The current feels more like it's pulling. Yeah. Pulling like kind of gently and then releasing. Oh, I had a fish. I got a fish. Oh. <laughs> Little tiny guy. Is that a... Bart surf perch. Bart? Yeah. And there's no size limit for that. No size limit. What? So cool. Yeah, there is. <laughs> there's the first one. Hey, they're out there, man. <laughs> Get one, John. Tiny, tiny guy, but no. he was so small that I couldn't even tell when, he, when I was bringing him in. Hopefully, it's the first of many, all right? Oh, that was a bite. Reel this one in. Keep it going, keep it going. Yeah, I think there's one on there. There we go, come on, man. Take your time, take your time, you got this. You got this, dude, you got this. Is there one on there? Oh, yeah, there is. Yeah. Hey! Little little tiny guy, same size as mine. Oh shoot, that's very cool. Yeah. First fish, here we go. It's a small one, but you know what? Let him go. Yeah, we can let him go. Let's try to catch bigger ones. We got plenty of time. Good job, man. Thank you. Uh. Susie used to go fishing with her dad when they were when she was young. Susie is 10 years older than John, but um, unfortunately, 
um, John and Susie's dad passed away when John was uh, young. So he never got the chance to go out with him and go fishing or crabbing um, or anything like that. So he's getting the hang of it right there. Looks looking good. So what happened with him was actually after he was diagnosed, they put him on chemotherapy and it actually failed the first time. And the second time, it also failed again. His body rejected his, the chemotherapy completely uh, two times. Then they decided to put him on um, chemotherapy that they use usually for kids. And that one um, actually took, and that's why after that he got admitted into UCSF Medical Center. And uh, so far he's doing really well, they say. Nice job. Yeah, you can keep that. There it is, there's our first keeper. That's a bar surf perch right there. Beautiful. All right, John, it's your turn. Gotta get go one get on the keeper. Yeah. Nice cast. He was telling me that well, uh, he's gonna be getting a bone marrow transplant soon and they found a perfect match for him and it's his sister Susie so he can be well again cancer free so the first one that he got actually it was you know I passed it on to him I hooked it and he reeled it in but he says I'm not leaving until I catch my own I was like, all right, man, you can stay here as long as you want. So I think we're going to catch one right now, though. Got one? Oh. Did you bite it off? Oh, there's one. I just had a bite. Yeah, cast it back out there. So I'm not even casting it far. Just a nice toss. Oh, I got one. I got one. There it is. There it is. That's a keeper. That's a keeper for sure, dude. <laughs> nice. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, biggest one so far. There we go. All right, John, they're out there, man. They're out there. All right, man. They're right, right, right there. Yeah. I'm gonna go out and hook this guy. This guy swallowed it, and my pliers are over, all the way over there. So I'll be right back. Ooh, did you get one? Ooh, did you get one? Oh no. Yeah, that's good. You're good right there. Back up a little. In front of me like so it looks a little bigger <laughs> yeah john's official first fish from casting setting the hook and reeling it in perfect hook set right there right on the lip money man there you go yeah hey i'm happy for you Thank i'm you happy do. for you <laughs> yes hey this is what we came here to do I know. check it off the bucket list my brother i will <laughs> Yes. Yes, 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 yes. How's it feel? It feels pretty good. Caught my first fish, even though it wasn't a keeper. Yeah. It was pretty amazing. Hell yeah. But yeah. I got it done. I threw that sucker out there, built it in all by myself, and yeah, caught my first fish. Yeah. Crossing that off the bucket list for sure. <laughs> Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Hell yeah.
All right, let's just make sure they're sand free. Just gonna chop everything up. All right, that's minced pretty well. Just a little bit of ginger. <laughs> Onion. And I'm using purple cabbage today. Just a little bit. That seems good enough. And chives, of course. I am. Olive oil, or not olive oil, <laughs> sesame oil. Black pepper. A little bit of chili flakes. A little soy sauce. Look at that. Can you see that? Bunch of stuff. Surf perch mixture. <laughs> Surf perch dumpling mix. That's what we call it. And a little piece of shrimp on each. All you do is fold, pinch, fold, pinch, fold, pinch. Fold pinch. That's it. Kind of put it down on the board, shape it nicely. Bam. That's it. Got gyoza. Easy. Fold pinch, fold pinch. I used to make gyoza with my grandma. That's where I learned it from. Growing up, that was my favorite food. My grandma's gyoza. Number one was my grandma's gyoza and then number two was some Japanese curry. That was my food growing up. Perfectly done. Oh, that's perfection. Woo! Nice. Second batch going in. This is rice vinegar. I go like 50-50. Uh, vinegar and sh and uh, soy sauce. Maybe actually, I, I like a little less soy sauce. Got you. Chili oil. And now let's taste. Well, John, I'm glad you caught a fish, man. <laughs> we all caught a fish. Yeah. Hell yeah, good day. All right, let's cheers. 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 All right, go ahead, dip it. Hopefully. Oh, smells good. Smells good. Mm -hmm. Smells really good. Thank you. Mm. That was so mm -hmm. good. That's good. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's yeah, pretty good. That's pretty good. Awesome. 
Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. <laughs> How's it, man? It's pretty good. Go ahead. Keep... Super delicious. Like, really, really good. Yeah. Oh, well, man, I'll take that. It's not beer? Nope. It's uh, water. Yeah, sparkling water. Cheers, guys. Cheers, cheers. cheers. Thank you for taking me out here. Yeah, Thank man. Thank you for having You're me. Welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, man. I'm glad you got the fish. I'm so glad. Uh, I ordered a keeper, but I was happy with that. Mm hmm. Yeah, because I wanted to do my own cast and reel it in. Yeah. I did that all by myself. Yeah, you did it all by yourself, man. I think I do like this more than LaCroix now. <laughs> <laughs> good food, good view, and good company. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go, the second batch is about to finish. These are mostly, uh, I did fish only in most of them. It's really good like this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just had the one with uh, surf perch only. That's really good. Yeah. yeah. I actually like that better than the one um, mixed with the shrimp. I like that just fish. That's good, good, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The day was really great. We got to catch surf perch and try some amazing food that Taku made. So we were really, we really had a good day. So I just want to say thank you to Taku and Jocelyn for showing us a good time. They're it's just amazing, amazing cooking skills and just amazing all the way around. Thank you, Taku. Thank you. <laughs> Taking me out here, getting our fishing license and all, <laughs> all that stuff. Catching yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah, just making this an experience for us. So just thank you from the bottom of our hearts for just making John's day and making it more bright. I just want to say thank you all for watching and thank you for your support. Without you, I wouldn't be in this kind of position where I'm able to give back and make somebody's day like I did with John. So thank you for that. And if any of you would like to help out a fellow Outdoor Chef Life subscriber, I'm sure John would love any kind of support you can give him. He has a GoFundMe account. So I'll put the link in the description below. And John, you got this, bro. Stay strong. Peace.